Me and you, baby. Let's get this done. Let's do something together. Hey everybody, I'm Bosco France, Bosco France Band, here at the PRS Sound Laboratory. I've been involved with the Sanzero, I guess, for about a year and a half now. You're able to get all the sound that you need out of it without packing a lot of gear around. And for vanity and other things, sometimes it's nice to have all this stuff, but it's really nice to have a piece of gear that works, that you can throw up, take with you, take your own back line somewhere, you know. It's small enough to go anywhere, and I've used it on uh, an arena stage, and I've used it on, uh, you know, an American Legion stage and uh, sounded good both places. I have a pre-selected kind of pedal board that I use depending on the gig and have some great stuff on there. When I'm setting an amp, I like to use the clean channel and get a good sound starting there. If I have a good uh, clean sound and the guitar sounds good there, then that's a really good jumping point for a pedal to have a chance of sounding good. So. Normally, I'll turn the volume up a little bit and see if there's a master or another volume. This side has a volume, so. Sounds like a guitar. Now I need a little bit of high end. Just turn the treble up. What I do is I turn it till I get the most effect and I roll it back from there. So, there's a lot of treble right there. So I'm gonna back it up. good with that. Same thing with the bass, depending on um, what potentiometer, what tube, how things are in the amp, affects the sound. So you roll this all the way up, put about midway, let's check that out. What is that, a lot of bass? So there's a lot of low in there, a lot of low end information. I'm gonna back that off because I don't use a lot of low end information on, you know, I use a little bit, but just enough to, just enough to make my bass player want to punch me in the face. Not, you know, just a little bit. So I roll that back. Depending on the room, I'll uh, use the presence if I need a little, I guess, shimmer, kind of top end sparkle. Sounds nice in this room. I normally don't, but really sounds good. So that's how I'd set the clean side of the amp. And then I would go through my pedals and each one of my pedals is set a certain way and every pedal is good if it works for you. These happen to be the ones I choose to use right now on this rig. Um, I use this overdrive and it's very, uh, just a little bit. In fact, I'll roll that off a little bit. I don't want to change the sound of the amp. Like I said, I like the sound of this amp. I just want a little oomph or um, if there's more dynamics that I need, I want to be able to achieve those without, you know, beating the guitar into submission, maybe just turning on a pedal and getting, you know, the... I use a two-stage gain pedal, so it's if you think about it, the clean side of the amp is the clean side, then I have overdrive, then I have another boot. So I have a three channel amp. And one thing I really go for is definition. So, you know, notes. I want to hear those. And that's that's one reason personally why I uh, I set the EQ the way I do. Um, and if I go to the neck pickup or go to the single, you know, to get. Ooh, you can hear it because the amp is not doing weird things and creating its own overtones. So. So I like to hear the pickups. So using the clean side of the amp and getting a good sound from there is going to make, I think it ensures that every position on the guitar has a good shot of sounding good and working well for your fingers. And also I like the way 
Sometimes maybe I can't open the amp all the way up. Now I do have the 20 watt so I can get a little raucous. Um, but maybe I need the pedal to help me achieve some of those uh, saturated tones and uh, just give me a little bit of uh, a little help when I'm playing, you know, feel like an attaboy to, you know, push you over. And I use, uh, I have a little delay. I'm not running that through the effects loop when I record, I do, because it's cleaner. But just for the, uh, the grab and go thing, man, I put this guitar on my back, in my PRS bag, carry this, and I'm not a very strong guy. I don't know what the camera's showing you. But I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a strong man. But I can carry this and my pedal board and my guitar in one trip, be in the club, be out of the club, be dining while other people are loading the gear, you know. I'm all about the loadout. It's all about the loadout, people. And so the, these tools allow me to get great sound with a minimal amount of uh, hassle. And uh, I play with a trio and we, we go everywhere in a van or plane or, you know, whatever, trailer. I've ridden in a trailer before. I wouldn't suggest it, but all of our stuff fits in there nicely. We can get to the gig and small footprint. It's easy to get in, easy to get out. And, you know, that's just this side of the amp. I haven't touched on the overdrive side, but we can if you want. <laughs> finding the sweet spot of the drive for you know the song you want to play because they're the one thing I don't think we've touched on is you know, you know you really do have from like 0 to 180 on there you know these are really at a nice price point and yeah, I'm a working musician, so I can afford them. So that's why I use them. Yeah. Uh -huh. 